What's going on you guys? Back out here on another system using the good old Accutrack ultrasonic leak detector. This system had some refrigerant added to it back last summer. And it is a R22 system. It's just a little ton and a half that's doing an upstairs area. And I come out here and it's pretty much bone dry again. I haven't really gotten started yet, but I can already hear a little something out here if you watch the red LED. I'm picking up something that sounds like it's back in there, but I wanted to show you something else that this thing is good for as far as picking up electrical problems. Let me see if I can do this. If you see, I've got my red wire disconnected because my contactor was buzzing, so I couldn't really hear what I was doing finding my leak. I didn't want to hear that noise continuing to buzz, so I disconnected R. Now listen at this contactor when I pull this in. I've got my disconnect out, so you know my, my 240's gone. So listen to this here. Okay, now let me reset the board because see we're flashing alternate. So all you need to do is just touch your test pins and it should pull in. There we go. All right, so you see what I did there? I just shorted my test pins and that put the board back into operation. So can you hear that buzzing? All right, so what I did originally, I just pulled my wire off here just to get rid of that. Okay, I'm still powered over here. And the crazy thing I noticed with my ultrasonic leak detector, I'm hearing the weirdest noise I've ever heard through this thing. I don't know how to describe it. It almost sounds like somebody running a vacuum in a real far off room of a house, like a you know, there was a vacuum running in the living room and you were on the other side of the house and you just kind of heard it in the distance. It sounds like that. And watch how loud this gets. Because, see, this is not just good for picking up leaks. You know, your refrigerant, your gas, something blowing air and turbulence through a hole or a crack or an orifice. It also pick up, picks up electrical disturbances. Um, so you can, you know, diagnose electrical problems, breaker boxes, and stuff like that. So I'm getting this noise, and it's over on this board, and I can actually pinpoint it if you watch this. Guys, I wish you could hear that, what I'm hearing. Man, I need to get a speaker and hook it up to this. But this little relay down here is just screaming bloody murder. Whatever is going on inside of that, it is just so loud. The closer I get to it, I can turn this direction and it goes away. As I turn away from it here, it goes away. And then watch as I get closer to it. And then look what happens when I pull the R back off. Now, nothing. So see, 24 volts is disconnected. And now I have nothing. So, just by accident, I've kind of found another problem there that I would say something in that relay is going bad will probably fail sometime in the future. And, you know, it almost makes me wonder if that's even what's causing the buzzing on the contactor. Man, I don't know. But that was something kind of weird. That was a first. So that was, you know, I've heard electrical outlets in like the back of my TV at the house through this thing. And I hear them making weird noises and popping. I can even hear my cell phone doing some weird stuff popping, discharging or whatever it does. But 
I've never heard something like that. That was so loud and so distinct. That was a wild noise and it's coming right from that little black relay on that board. So now I'm gonna try to find my leak. I think I might be somewhere out here. What I've done, because you know, ideally you want your pressure to be as high as possible. So I'd sent this unit into a defrost right when the pressure got jacked up on the coil out here and it was getting ready to come out of defrost, I went ahead and yanked the disconnect. So I had all that high pressure out here and that's when I heard something blowing in here a little bit. So I'm gonna try to track that down more. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video on that, man. That is some weird electrical sound and noise there that this thing picks up. So, you know, this thing has multiple uses. And I would almost say that something in that board will probably fail in the future, more than likely. But anyway, guys, just thought I'd show you that. Uh, if I find the leak here in a little bit, I might do another video and post that separately. I don't want this one to go too long. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Leave me a thumbs up, a comment below, and I will catch you next time. See you.